Hello everybody and welcome to a new guide on X4. This is going to be, because we've had a lot of updates, obviously 3.4 is around the corner, but a lot of people are coming back to kind of get back into the game, and obviously some people will come back in when 3.4 lands as well, and obviously if anything major changes on that, we'll update that as well. However, a lot of people who have watched my previous guides have kind of said, you know, great information and everything, but there's certain things missing, that they'd like to know more about now the previous guide covered a lot of stuff that i enjoy doing and that how i play my game style so some of the things i didn't know because i never actually came across them uh, in any of my plays and, and i've done quite a few plays through x4 and different kind of styles and stuff like that so we're gonna we're gonna try and tackle everything in the game and i mean everything we're gonna go down to nooks and crannies of everything but we're gonna get you going first of all with how to actually get in the ship and fly about and at least be able to do something in the game that you're not going to end up trying to work out the tutorials because the tutorials are good for some people but not good for others so let's get straight into it before we start i'm just going to cover what i'm actually using as extensions which is here we have got split vendetta on there so we should expect to see some of that we've got the escape teleportation mod which basically if you've got teleportation which is in in the game it allows you to escape if your ship gets blown up that's all it is it doesn't do anything other than you know doesn't stop the ship getting blown up you still lose your ship except instead of having the game over basically you get the um get to carry on basically and uh, we've got faction enhancer the war module the catch-up module the econ ai module and econ balance module. all they do is as they basically namesakes are one improves the faction war behavior one allows um the ai to catch up if they're severely damaged by a war um the ai economy ai module also improves the economy side of things so it makes it a little bit more uh, fluid and obviously the econ balance obviously balances a few things out as well some of my prices do vary and that's down to the economy and the balancing that it does but everything that we go through on this guy much the same as what the previous one covered um you can still do it just sometimes you might need to do a couple of little bits extra um in the meantime but you know every single thing we go through here anybody can do and i'll give you i'll try wherever i can and give you various different methods of doing stuff you're not having to do the same thing but uh let's head on back now so you can see that we've had the economy campaign which is the guide that we've been doing and um, that's just a continuation campaign we've moved on we're going to start a new game now there is tutorials Feel free to play them they are new doing i think it was 3.1 or 3.2 they were added into there they do help you out a little bit they're, they're good to use if you want to do that however we will be covering everything from the tutorials as we go along in the main guide here as well so it's down to yourself if you want to try that out i always go for the young gun start just because it's just a little bit easier even to do after everything. everything that has struck over the last few yeah, let me just click off that for a minute because it's going to continue talking the young gun basically okay you're gonna keep talking okay that one doesn't talk good the young gun it um allows you to basically set off on your own and do things you, you've got yourself a little combat shuttle a combat ship small fighter nothing special but you can do pretty much everything from that you can choose how you start the difference is it's going to be in uh, the factions you have and the area you start that's all it is but you can pretty much do anything we've done here on any of them starting point okay everybody this is pretty much where you're going to start you're on a deck and you've got yourself a ship um but first of all before we start anything before i go into this guide fully if there's anything you're really dying to know there's a couple of things you can do here one you can search youtube for your answer and you'll probably find it in various different methods or ways don't just follow my guide there's plenty of people out there with thousands of hours in this game and everybody has a different approach on it so i applaud you to go out there and find stuff i'm one of many people who do that but hopefully i can give you the information you require second thing is leave a comment on the video and i will get back to you directly or it will be covered in one of the other videos and if i can if i've already completed that video i will send you the link through or i'll just answer you straight off third thing is make sure you check out the discord um the discord isn't solely about x4 but you can easily speak to me and we can go back and forward on some stuff and ideas and stuff like that so make sure you do check that out um as well 
But without further ado, let's get into it. Now, as you can see, there's absolutely nothing on the HUD. Now, the good thing about this game is it kind of gives you a little bit of leeway with, with your style of play, how you want to do things, where you want to go with things. It does not throw loads of stuff on your screen. However, it just, just chucks you out there and expects you to know what you're doing. Let's go ahead and talk about the ship that you've got. The ships are in a modular style. So you've got a base ship, and then you've got modules that you put on it. So engine modules, weapon modules... And they all have their own graphics. And they look really good on each ship as well. This is your cannon on here. Attached to it. Um, if we come around the back here. This is your logo that you have. Uh, I think that's a generic logo it loads onto it every time. It's always the same one for me. Okay. Did apply in the upgrade tutorial from the help menu. We will not bother with that at the moment. I'm going to continue. That. Your engines there. Uh, they're all connected. So pretty cool coding and stuff like that we'll get into all that at a later stage we'll get on to it you can actually see the engine better there okay so there's not much to see on the outside this is a small ship so um i don't know if it's got shields it should have shields but i don't think we can see. oh yeah there you go there's a the shield generator just up there Elite okay. vanguard them little boxes that appear they'll disappear after a while once you've gone through everything so this is your cockpit now on this play because we've just gone through there is no pilot or anything like that you've got a cockpit with a seat facing out ready to go if you had a pilot he'd be sat in that seat ready to go for you this is your transportation room your transporter room all your ships should have one if you left click on it it gives you a various locations if you had if you were docked then you can um sometimes teleport to different things but it doesn't doesn't necessarily do it through that but that in mind now before we get onto the ship and going out there flying and shooting stuff i want to talk about being on a station a typical now i'm using a mouse and keyboard if you're using a joystick hit the escape key head on over to your settings you can see you've got game settings controls and stuff like that controls there if you've got a joystick plugged in, it'll give you your joystick control, sir. I don't play with joystick, but if you need something desperately, I can find it out for you. So, W, A, S, and D is your typical maneuver ability. Um, don't press shift to try and run, it doesn't do anything. If you press shift and D, it teleports you back into your ship. I've done it many times where, because I play, you know, FPS games. I'll press shift and I'll be running around and I'll press D and I'm like, oh, what the hell, I'm back in my ship. So, bear that in mind. To run around, if you do double tap W, you can run around a little bit faster. Okay, so what we're on here is a small docking pad. See there, it's got a little connector there. You can't tell it's a pad from this point of view because there's nothing on it. But if you look at them there, see all them numbers? They're all docking pads. There's a ship coming in for land there. That's generically how it's usually done. Okay. You've got NPCs in the game, they wander around Rich. everywhere. Let's talk about them while we've got them here. You can see there on the right hand side, you've got what they are, they're a crewman. And then there's highlighted um, skills on that list. The engineering and the morale skills. They're the skills that are being used as a crewman. Very important to note that because the boarding management and piloting are, are secondary skills in this case, and are no use to what you would need as a crewman. They'll also tell you what faction they belong to. This is an Argon Federation. You're on the Argon shipyard. I'll show you how we know that at a later stage. It tells you what your current reputation is, which is neutral, and it's at plus five. Click on them. You can... Um, oh, there's, if there's ever any information, it'll be down there as well. You can do certain things with them. You can hire them, but we don't want to waste our credits at the present moment. Or you can find stuff as well. Where can I find? And it'll give you a location. Like so. So if you're looking for a specific thing, you can ask any crewman on these ships. Sending you information now. Yep. And now if we look, we should have... Usually... Oh, I know why, because we're not on the station. Hello. Let me choose something that's actually on this station. Ship Sending trailer, there we go. Information. There we go. You get this little orange 
marker here which will direct you where you need to go and you get another teleporter and they're highlighted in orange double click it off you go yep they direct you straight to Hello where you there. need to go Hello. you can upgrade a ship the reason why I've took it to here is because I wanted to show you what the modules look like we're not going to do anything right now because obviously we've got no money but if you right click you can rotate around and you can see what modules you have available the category that you're in will highlight like a light green color like that is and every other category that's available will be in the darker green well the, the different color green I wouldn't say it's lighter it's kind of more brighter green you can see there we've got engines and we've got thrusters thrusters is the only thing that I believe doesn't come up yet I'll show you your docking control now I believe if you're upgrading it from the outside it doesn't show them doors open We've got shields, which is on top that I mentioned. We've got the weapon, which is up front, which is a pulse laser. And then we've got software. Software is the only other thing that you don't really see because obviously it's software, not a hardware. Hello. Right. We can see we've got 10,000 credits here, so we're not going to buy anything at the moment. But I'm not going to go through all the docking software and all the other dof uh, softwares and stuff like that until we come to a stage where we need to. However, I will note out docking is an absolute pain. So we definitely will only be looking at one of these at a later stage. Don't spend your credits, we're going to need them. Okay, so. Ignoring all the noise from the ships coming and going. That is a, a small ex, you know, a small explanation on kind of you, you, your whereabouts and stuff like that. You can directly teleport to your ship from one of these as well. Why it lets you teleport directly to your ship. But not actually inside the ship, it's a little annoying, but they... Okay, there we go. There you get some stuff like that. They'll also tell you that it's on a standard docking bay, small standard docking bay. You can rename it from here. You can redesign it and you can put it in internal storage. That's internal storage for this station, by the way. Okay, so. If we can go a little bit quieter here. So you've got your ship, you know how to move around, you're familiarizing yourself with the station, everything's easy as. That coming in there is a medium sized ship and it's about to land on the medium dock. They're pretty cool when they're coming in and out. The HUD. On the left hand side you can see it says one inactive mission. Any updates from factions, credits, earning, your stations, stuff like that will come in on the left hand side. General messages. On your right hand side will be information about people. And if you've got a communication as well from one of your people, they'll come up on the right hand side as well. You'll see that throughout as we go. I know there's a lot of things that are very basic and they might not be understanding, but there are people who may want to know this. So I apologize for those of you who do understand this already. Um, hopefully, you know, we're going to help people throughout. So that, that's the reason why I want to do it. But let's head on into the ship now. Just climb up here and you're into it. So when you click on use, you get the standard menu. This is the dock interaction menu. It's kind of badly worded, I think, because it's the same interaction menu you get when you're not in a dock as well, albeit with different uh, menus um, highlighted up. And I'll show you that when we get to it. But again, I, it's just basically the screen is replaced one to the other, but you'll, you'll see what I mean when we come outside. But you get this every time when you're docked, because obviously it's dock interactions. Transfer words is not available to us because we have no cargo container. Buy ships. Is not available to us because well we've got no money we've got ship information which gives you the information about your ship and it teleports you to the map discuss the map at a later stage you can trade because this is your internal um, inventory that you've got which we'll talk more about at a later stage as well so that's for this here We've got undock, which we'll do in a minute, and we can obviously upgrade and repair our dock. Cancel. A uh, dock ship, even. Okay, so transfer words is the one that you get for. Generally, it's for your own stations. You can transfer between your ship and another ship, uh, transfer between your station and the ship, and stuff like that. 
obviously we're not transferring words because we have to buy them which is why we have to trade them there are two types of personal storage and i say personal storage i mean basically storage that you have there's your ship and there's your storage the one you carry when you go through the dock interaction it's your ship that you're dealing with if you go to the you know, if you go to the actual trade sector and trade face to face with somebody that's your 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 personals your person storage today there's slight differences between the two and it's worth noting that because i've fallen trapped to it before like where is all the stuff i'm looking for oh wait i'm on the wrong thing okay so before we head on out let's talk about a few things we've got our first menu here it's only a small menu you've got who you are which is val selton at the moment you've not got a personal name because the um storyline is is you are val selton you've got the station or the system's date and time just made up date and time but the time i believe just take over the accurate amount um i, I don't pay attention to that time because i'm too busy doing stuff uh, and you get your ten thousand credits as well you've got what current system you're in which is black hole sun uh four don't count apparently black hole sun four and you've got all your menus at the top You've also got here where you are so you're at the arg argon equipment dock and you've got argon federation and we're plus five if you remember from the previous one options is what we showed you earlier and you'll notice whilst you're in the options do not pause to so be wary of that you get your player information which is basically what we're going to cover now and then we're going to start looking at some other details about the other stuff at a later stage because there's a lot of detail on that so Again, you've got your name of your person and the name of your organization. Both of them are unique to you, whatever you want to call it. You've got a logo choice. As you can see, it gives you your ship design. You can change your logo and it goes on all of your ships. And you've got default ship skins. So this is what the default of each ship will be unless you change it on each personal ship. You can change it and you can see it updates it on the ship you're on as well. Uh, we'll go with that kind of green. That looks kind of cool. There's a lot in this player information tab that's going to be overwhelming. So I apologize if you need a little bit more information on anything. Please let me know in the comments section. You've got your wealth, which is as it stands. You know, name of what it is is on the tin. You got your net worth, value of your ship, what the value of that ship currently is, and your available cash. We've also got inventory so anything that you've got inside your inventory how much it's worth and obviously your stations and your total cash and your station accounts we haven't got stations so we don't need to worry about that personnel number of higher personnel is zero the average skill is zero and your total total personnel skill is zero this will be more apparent as we start building stations and getting more ships and stuff and we'll go in detail with that because that has changed since the release of the game venture ships venture is your online mode if you connect it to the online you can send ships out to the venture we will try and cover that later down the line but i'm modded because i use the um, modules so sometimes the venture doesn't work with the modded um other venture ships can come in um but the mods don't affect the venture ship. and your police authority which at the moment we have no police authority and you can see that it says there what it actually does which is you can set which words are considered legal in sectors that are policed by you we don't have any sectors set up so we don't need to worry about that your inventory which is again the personal person in the inventory we've got nothing modifications we don't have any modifications at the moment and you can see here it says modifications can be applied at the workbench found at shipyards or equipment docks so we'll go through that as we start looking at modifications Spaceship upgrades, we don't have any uh, upgrades for our spacer at the present moment. This is where you would uh, deal with them. You can also drop any illegal items because some things are illegal. Okay, global orders. I'm not going to deal with the global orders now because there's a lot of things that can change and can kind of set up. I tend to keep global orders as default. However, I will do a side note on global orders at a later stage logbook does exactly what it says 
logs everything that has all and then you can obviously narrate it down to whatever you need it to do account management we have no accounts so we don't need to worry about that at the present moment personnel management again this is the new sector of um 3.3 I believe it was 3.3 3.2 or 3.3 yeah it's been a while um we've got no people so we can't do anything with that but we will cover that uh, i might try and tie that in with global orders uh, factions and relations which is useful to us because you can see all the factions that we have uh, available to us that we that we know about and at the moment we've got the basics of the antigon republic and the Argon federation which are both kind of similar together god realm of the Paranid. Uh, we haven't got the hop we haven't spotted them at the moment but there's basically two factions per designs of ships should I say Ministry of Finance and the Taladi also share designs and you've got the Xenon as well there'll be more of them sooner rather than later and we will discuss that when we get to them and statistics which tells you all your statistics so if you're ever interested in what you've done what you highest ranks are then you can have a look at it in there you can show show off and share anything you want to do okay so there's the map the encyclopedia and the tutorials and help the tutorials and help i'm not going to go through take your time if you want to go through that encyclopedia it's a bit 50 50 it's supposed to tell you about things it kind of sets a story behind stuff and it also gives you useful information about trades and stuff like that um I tend not to use stuff like this but if you want to you can get it involved and i will kind of try and link some of this stuff in as we go along you've got your timeline as well which you can see there is nothing in our timeline because we don't know you can change the dates as well and ship comparisons you can compare ships if you want to so you can add a ship and they'll give you the option to add a secondary ship if you want to compare weaponry and stuff like that it's a great way of doing it okay the map now the map is the one thing i am not going into today because i'm going to cover that on the next episode because there's a lot to go in but that's going to be us for episode one i know it's a lot of back to basics but i really want to cover everything uh, just so that nothing's overlooked um, and i apologize to those of you who do know all this and who are coming back for a refresher we will get into some of the stuff that you may not know on the next episode hopefully but certainly over the next couple of episodes if there's anything I've missed at the beginning that you are not aware of or don't know or I've spotted that I haven't mentioned, let me know in the comments section and I'll get back to you. But until next time, everybody, take care for now and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye for now.